Somebody sent me a, an image of them charging their Xpeng G6 in New South Wales, and it took around 24 minutes to get from 20% to 80% state of charge on a charger here in Australia. 24 minutes to get from 20, well, actually it's about 19 to 80%. That's fast. But Xpeng have just revealed something even more insane than that. And it could also be coming to Australia within the next few years. Chinese electric car manufacturer Xpeng have just revealed their insane plan. And when I say guys insane, I mean utterly mental. 800 kilowatt fast charging. They actually have superchargers that will be capable, as in they are capable of this kind of charging speed. Now, if you look at Xpeng's X9 electric MPV, that thing is getting close to the point of hitting that kind of charging speed. And basically Xpeng are telling us, this is the future of our company. You've got to take that seriously. You've got to say, hang on a minute, what are these guys doing? If they have an 800 volt architecture capable of that kind of charging speed, this would change the entire global landscape. Think about it, electric cars charging in what would that be? Around seven minutes. Hello my friends, welcome to the channel. I'm Sam Evans, you're watching The Electric Viking. Wow, you really know the future is here when this sort of thing happens. Now guys, I wanna say a big thank you to Resync Solar. They've actually installed my, my new solar system here. And I'll, go, I'll give you guys the number soon, but I'm not paying anything for electricity right now. I'm filming these videos here. Uh, it's, it's free. And if you don't have a solar system on your roof, you're crazy because you can pay it off within less than a year, literally. You can pay it off in less than a year. Now, of course, you can get a bigger solar system that will charge your car. That will take you a bit longer to pay it off. But really, the truth is, if you don't have solar, you're insane. Anyway, these guys did a great deal for me, and they will for you as well if you mention my name. So I'll put a link in the description below. I don't make anything from this, just so you know. There's no kickback. Um, so yeah, you will get a discount from Resync Solar. What's going on here with Xpeng? Well, Xpeng, first of all, they, they're coming to Australia. They're going to have the G6 available here in Australia in one month's time. I've just done a review on that. It's probably the best value vehicle I've ever seen in Australian history. The BYD 803 is great, guys. The new G6 is bigger than the 803. It charges twice as fast as the 803. It has way more range than the 803. Uh, it's got far better software than the 803. It puts the 803 to shame, guys. The 803, don't get me wrong, it's a great value vehicle. But if you step up and pay an extra, not much more, $10,000 more, you're getting a car that's literally just miles better. Now, this was always bound to happen. I know a lot of people are going to get annoyed at me for saying that because they invested in a BYD, but the truth is, guys, the technology here is going fast. If you can't innovate, you're going to be left behind. And realistically here, what we, what a lot of experts are saying is if you can't innovate as quickly as what companies like Zika and Xpeng are innovating, you won't exist anymore. These new fast chargers from, from Xpeng, they are so fast that I think even the Chinese automotive industry is kind of surprised by this news. Now, Xpeng will launch their next generation superchargers within the next couple of months. They'll deliver liquid-cooled supercharging. Now, they're actually their S5 liquid-cooled superchargers. They'll come online apparently within, I believe, the next four to eight weeks, delivering 800 kilowatt of charging power. The S5 supercharger, so their existing superchargers, they have a maximum output current of 800 amps and a maximum output voltage of 1000 volts. This enables you to charge. You can apparently add one kilometer of range to your car in one second. So 60 seconds adds 60 kilometers of range. <laughs> I mean, what? A single minute, all right? So 10 minutes of charging would add 600 kilometers of range. Now, obviously that's not accurate because when you go above 80% with an EV battery, the charging rate slows down enormously. But really, would you want to do that anyway? Really, in theory, then you could add 500 kilometers of range in five minutes. That's probably more than what you'd want to do. For example, the Xpeng G6, it has 570 kilometers of WLTP range, not CLTC, WLTP. So in theory, you could charge that battery, put in you know, nearly 500 kilometers of range in five minutes. Now, of course, the Xpeng G6 doesn't charge that quickly. It charges at about 300 kilowatt maximum charging speeds, which is already insane. But potentially in a few years time, that's what we're looking at. So 
a lot of people, a lot of experts are saying, Xpeng entering the Australian car market, they're looking at their management here in Australia, they're saying, uh, you should be very concerned about this company. That's what I've been hearing from other journalists that I've been talking to. This next generation supercharger takes less than 13 seconds from plugging in the vehicle to beginning the charge. So that's also part of it. How quickly can you start charging when you plug in? It takes less than 13 seconds. That's actually really impressive. That means you can get more than 300 kilometers of range in less than five minutes of charging, which is very fast and very efficient, said Xpeng, and I have to agree with them. Xpeng's current most powerful supercharger is the S4 supercharger. That can give you 210 kilometers of range in five minutes. So this charger is much quicker. But to give you some context on the actual numbers here, the S4 ultra fast charger has a maximum power of 480 kilowatt. So we're going from 480 to 800. <laughs> How do you keep up with this? Wow. By the end of July, Xpeng had 1,300 charging stations in operation, including 1,000 supercharging stations, said Xpeng. So most of those are in China. Will they bring some to Australia? Will they bring some to Europe? I think they've already installed a few in Europe. Australia, I hope they do, because this would really push other automakers to lift their game as well. Xpeng are targeting 10,000 charging stations, 10,000 by 2026, including 4,500 liquid-cooled ultra-fast charging stations. 4,500 ultra-fast, potentially between 480 kilowatt to 800 kilowatt charging stations by, well, within a year and less than a year and a half from now. To give you some context on other automakers and what they're doing, Neo, they unveiled their fourth generation battery swap station. Now their next generation, 640 kilowatt charger. So Neo has 640 kilowatt. Uh, Zika has around 640 kilowatt as well, or Geely, they have those. Uh, Xpeng, obviously 800 kilowatts. So Xpeng's clearly a little bit ahead of these guys, but still 640, 800, these kind of charging speeds are ridiculous. And you can see my point here, guys. Do you really need a solid state battery? Which, yes, we know Samsung has cracked the code. They're selling those automakers now. But do you really need one, considering the price is going to be like five times more expensive than a lithium battery, if you can charge at these speeds? I don't think you do. Neo say that their 100 kilowatt hour long range battery pack can charge from 10 to 80% in 12 minutes. Zika say theirs can charge in 10.5 minutes. Um, Xpeng's is pretty similar to that as well. To date, Neo has 2,300 supercharging stations in China, providing 10,532 chargers. Liauto, they're also building charging facilities as well. Liauto has 701 superchargers. All of this, guys, a lot of this is coming here to Australia. We're very luckily, we don't have, I mean, depends on how you see it. Obviously, some people think the Chinese coming to Australia is terrible. But in terms of the actual product, we're very lucky. We're not getting much from America. We're getting what? A couple of what? The Ford Mustang Mach-E. It's all right, but it's not great. We're getting Tesla. But really, to be honest, we don't get Tesla from America. We get Tesla from China. Realistically, guys, most of the EVs we're getting now, they're from China. And without them, and without this technology, the industry would be really moving at a very, very slow pace. But it's companies like Xpeng and Zika that are revealing this kind of technology that will really change the automotive industry here. How will Japanese automakers, legacy automakers from Germany, from Europe, how will they keep up with this? How will they not be disrupted? Well, they are. Thanks for watching.